Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Welcome to the f***ing jungle, baby. Look at me sweating at the 30-second mark. <laughs> f***ing glistening. I'm a wet panda today. We're out in the f***ing jungle. This looks great. I like this backdrop. This is nice. My boy got that orgasm blush. I got, uh, I'm just, I look like sh dude. <laughs> I look like f***ing sh Wet panda sounds like a racial slur. It is a racial slur. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a good Chinese guy with Down syndrome. That's what we call the Viet Cong, wet pandas. Their uncle is a wet panda. <laughs> <laughs> You've offended my family <laughs> in a Shaolin temple. I'm, um, uh, well, let me intro. We got two amazing guests in the building, and then we'll get into my troubles, as always. Um, I love talking about troubles. Troubles. The troubles, folks. That's what it's all about. I got to my left the great Kevin Sanchez. What's up, baby boy? He's... First time on the show. Yes, sir. What's up, Lev? You ready to bring the heat? Of course. You got some racist shit to say? I don't have racist shit to say. Who the f says racist shit on my end? What the f wrong That's with what you? I heard. I heard that you do like a dice kind of thing. I would love to do a dice kind of thing. <laughs> That'd be my favorite thing to bring back dice is the Dominican. <laughs> Dominican hey, Puerto dice. retards. Hickory dickory duck, folks. <laughs> Dominican dice would be funny. Just had a cock fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought of chicken i got money on you oh, oh. <laughs> instead of a cigarette he's got like a little cigar a little cuban rolled up we got uh dave temple in the building of no need for apologies yeah man thanks for having me back this is my second time on it's gotten sexier since you got a leon phelps vibe going on what's that little r&b music uh that was not me that was uh once you're 40 minutes late they just start stalling you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's when you're 40 minutes late to your own show music i had the shittiest commute down here one Folks, I don't, I'm not going to start a GoFundMe over this, but I am. I do have a sinus infection. Okay. Pretty serious. Yeah. Sometimes my nose runs. Mm. And you know what I say? What do you say? You better go catch it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go, Uncle Lev. <laughs> so, you better go catch it. Thanks, Uncle Lev. I'm just saying, Can you we know? have some money to go to the store now? <laughs> <laughs> No, I got a couple more for you, kids. Gather around. What's the rush? Um, no, so I got this fucking annoying uh, sinus thing. I'm just sweating a shit. I feel fine. I'm just like, ugh, I just my face just feels clogged up. Um, you and just happen to look like you're looking right now. I'm just glazed in sweat everywhere. Glazed right now. Yeah, 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 I've been yeah. doing sets just fucking pouring sweat. Trying to fight that shit off. Yeah, I, like, I don't even know if it's a sick. I think it's like an allergy thing. But, um, you know, other than that. And then I fucking, I was running late today. I go to uh, to get on the subway. There's a guy, kind of a threatening looking guy, waiting by where I need to fucking fill up my metro card because I only got I have like all my money's in cash. I just have like <laughs> five hundred bucks in cash. I'm still the one asshole putting money on the fucking yellow card. You yeah, know what I mean? I'm yeah. too broke for you to say shit like that to me right now. No, but, like you got five hundred dollars in cash on you wait, right now. Wait, are you now? telling me you're not in uh, jumping the turnstile shape there, left? <laughs> <I'm, laughs> <laughs> no, he waits by the door, dog. <laughs> you think that's how I'm gonna get caught? Is just me just jammed in the. Getting turnstile. <laughs> uh, push. <laughs> Somebody push the back. You right. pull. <laughs> I need a cop to push and pull me through it. <laughs> they bring the jaws of life to take you out of the turnstile. <laughs> I just ruined the whole commute out of Midtown. There was a 300 pound man jammed. Um, so I'm fucking, I need to fill up this card. This dude's kind of pressing me for cash next to me. And he's like a young, in shape guy. He's like six foot five, sunglasses on. What made him threatening? The, his tone of voice, and I'm not going to say skin color. Uh, that's what I was saying. I was like, by thre non -thre threatening, it means non-white. <laughs> no, no he, was, uh, he was a darker fellow, but it wasn't the dark. It was like he was just kind of in my space. Got you. In yeah. my space with sunglasses on. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he, was, he wasn't saying to me like, hey. Wait, yeah, sunglasses on downstairs in the, in the, in the subway? Sunglasses mm -hmm. on. And there wasn't like a, hey, please, could you? He was like, $2, that's all it takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. all it takes. And I was like. Me. So now I gotta open my wallet up. I got like just the first thing you see is just all this cash just pouring out of it. I'm running late. I'm fucking sweating like this. I'm like glistening. So he like, yo, so you not gonna call me in on that shit real quick? Dude, I, two dollars right now. I just panic. I just put a hundred bucks into the 
fucking reader. <laughs> I just have a hundred dollars on a Metro card right now. Can't rob me if it's all in a card, right? <laughs> so I just fucking uh, I went through and um, and then I got on the train and then you're just thinking about it, like just packed every train is like you don't have a millimeter of space between you my hand is in some lady's bun i'm not even grabbing onto the uh, fucking like rods on the subway i'm grabbing some lady's hair <laughs> to like stay fucking in place yeah, hey yeah, bitch buddy. why your head lumpy it's just, yeah <laughs> just hell to get here to just fucking do a podcast just hell and that wow you gotta really love it oh um, my god the, and i'm starting to finally notice after like over nine years of being here, just how dirty the fucking streets are, how much trash is everywhere. You know what I mean? And that wild where the, the that whatever I don't know whatever it is the allure of New York. Once it wears off, and you kind of like look around, and you're like, "Yeah, this is a shithole." Yeah, like sorry, yeah. Kevin. I know you're like from I'm here, from and this here. is your hometown, yeah. and you grew up in this uh-huh. cesspool of a of a city. But <laughs> it, it, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's you know I agree with everything you're saying, but yeah. for some reason when y'all talk shit about it, it pisses me off. I get that. I get that. Because if anybody else was shitting on New York right now, I'd be like, "You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you don't deserve Are to you, be wait, here." Where are you from? I'm from North Carolina, down south. Oh, I was yeah. just there. That shit was. Were you? Yeah, it was in uh, uh, Indian Trail Road. What the fuck is that? By Charlotte. Oh, okay. That's yeah, that's okay. the other end of uh, of the town. Everybody in the chat, the whole chat is saying, uh, "Ride your motorcycle, asshole." That I was wondering what's going on. It that's was right, warm enough today. It here's was fifty six today. Here's today what's was going a good on. day to get the, the fluids going. That's There's not a shot. good day when the repo man's looking for your bike. <laughs> There's no, the weather does isn't a factor in this scenario. You really? know what I mean? The, the better the weather is, the more repo men are out there. Yeah. Hunting. That's why I'm always blown away by New York. Like I got rid of my bikes when I moved to New York because I didn't have access to a garage. Like, yeah, and yeah. even the storage units here, you can't really drive motor vehicles and they pay attention to that yeah. shit. So yeah. I feel pretty confident where, with where my bike's stashed, but I just need to I need to fork up like two grand and just pay the shit off. Yeah, my fucking uh, my insurance expired. And, like I just forgot to fucking renew it. So before I got to do like that. Plus I got to do a thousand mile service on it before I take it out on the street. I got to change the oils and all that shit. It's so. too much. It's just a lot. I gotta do. It. I'm gonna call Doug Urim. It's gonna be a whole fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, Dave, you used to ride bikes. Oh yeah, hard, man. Right? I used to ride them, work on them, everything. Yeah. Man, Zen in the art of motorcycle maintenance. I highly recommend that everyone should read that once in their life. Man, it'll fucking it'll change you. I man. made it about thirty pages into it. Got, yeah, got the first lesson. Was like that's the best book I've ever read. And then I put it away. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I absorbed the knowledge. You know? Right, right. <laughs> they made this uh, this great point, and it, he was talking about it's like him and his friend were riding and. Uh, his buddy had like a BMW that he was riding, mm-hmm. and he refused. Like anytime something would go wrong with it, he would just take it to get service every time. Right. Meanwhile, the main character, he's like, learn the manual of your bike, like become one with your bike, learn to fucking you know build a relationship with it. So if anything goes wrong with it, you can work on it. It's gonna be rewarding. And then he realized, like, and he was like judging him for like just being a guy who just goes and takes it off. But then he's like, I realized for him, the bike is the vacation, and yeah. it's getting away from. Having to do any fucking work, having to do any service. So, like, they were giving them different senses of fucking reward. Bro, the best Saturday for me, if I didn't have shows or anything, would be uh, in the garage with some of my buddies. We would start working on bikes early. Yeah. Like 11 a.m. And we would get stuck. That sounds awesome. We get stuck and we might not be done getting the bikes ready until 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's like a fucking... 12 hour day in the garage and then we hit the streets at night but it's like just interrupting people's sleep um, just fucking yeah, they're working you know <laughs> yeah well that was our nights the, the biggest nights to come out like especially when I was racing like cause I did yeah, a lot yeah. of street racing ra- street racing Monday and Tuesday nights were the best because yeah. the traffic is minimal no, so it's like yeah it's like if I'm coming out like to this day I'm I'm sorry that I never had a bike in New York cause I would tear the fucking BQE up, yeah. Late night, two a.m. on a Monday. That oh, Honestly, my that God. does sound beautiful. I, I I am obsessed with those uh, bike videos where the guys like uh, they, they start singing that. Uh, what's that gay ass rock song? The people. I mean, that's that's millions. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Something in the midnight. Yeah, right. rock and roll is great rock though for Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a big yeah, one. Yeah, sorry, big, fucking... big on me getting into rock and roll was the cross culture because that was a big thing for me. Like bikes, it, it transcends race. Were you yeah. were you fucking like skirting through people's like 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 this, if it's traffic, you just going through people's like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One twenty on the white yeah. line, baby. 
One twelve. It would be Philly's game I've let out. Never rolled Have you up done like it? That, no. Philly's game. Philly's game. Can let out uh, traffic. And me and my homies, we're scaring you. You're sitting in traffic <laughs> doing nothing, and we coming through on the white line. <laughs> Dude, any but anytime I see those guys, like I've probably got the fastest I've gone on the bike is 60, 65. Nice. And, and on a sportster, mm-hmm. you feel like like the wind might kill you. Like <laughs> yeah, at, yeah, at, yeah. Hitting that. So like, and that's even like a heavier bike for that size. But yeah. I was uh, I was coming uh, out of Brooklyn, and this guy raced past me. Two guys on a sports bike, fucking flew past me. Mm-hmm. Lane splitting. They're doing like seventy five, right? Sure enough, five minutes later, I get to the end of the fucking bridge. Their bike is on the ground, crashed. Yeah. They're fighting to pick it up. It's under a guy's car. Mm-hmm. They're trying to pull it out. They're like, "Quick, motherfucker!" They're like loading back up and just skirting the fuck out. Yeah, so like, man. they were down. most. I feel like most bikes in New York City people are riding dirty with. Yeah, them. I was about to say you sound very responsible, my insurance. Oh, I'm riding laps, dirty too, but I'm, get my <laughs> shit, I'm like, dude, that, that would not stop us from riding at all. You know what I mean? It's like, not even the insurance so much I'm worried about. It's, it's I just, a repo man. I don't want it to get fucking taken. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the one thing. Yeah, I just yeah, need man. to pay this bitch off, but. Um, you know, we're working on it, folks. We're fucking yeah, working do on your it. Thing, man. I, life of the comic right there, baby. Yeah. But uh god damn it, man. What what made you give up the bike? I've been down. Uh I've had a big one and I've had some soft ones. I've buried a lot of people. Yeah. And it got to a point oh. for me where uh and I never say this bragging. So anybody that's hearing this shit, I'm not saying this bragging, but in Philadelphia in that tri state area, I'm one of the fastest dudes on two wheels. So there's a lot of dudes coming for my helmet. And it's one of those things where it's like, well, I don't like that that feeling. I don't want to get attached to new riders yeah, yeah. that's out trying to prove something. Cause it gets to the point where when me and my homies do come out. We want to just do the 65. Yeah, yeah. We just want to cruise around, you know, see some stuff, pick some girls up, take them for a little ride, hang out at Checkers or whatever. You know, just little yeah, shit. Yeah. But you got all the new booty riders that want to prove to you how fast they are. Oh, That's yeah. the and, coolest line I've ever bro, heard and I've life. never, I've never you heard that line? Which one? He goes... These right, new riders want to come for my helmet. That's the yeah. coolest <laughs> shit I've ever well, heard Well, because that's what life. it is. It's a, it's a bragging right. It's a bragging yeah. right to be able to be like, yo, no. I'm, I mean, y'all, it's the same thing in comedy. It's the same thing in comedy. If you're an established person, new booty, right, they're right. ready to show you. If they're on a lineup with you, oh, wanna, especially if they, they trying to rock the fuck out, right? And, and the thing is, guys will hurt themselves trying to show off, of trying to keep up with us, either trying to get off the exit before us, or just trying to stay. Yo, I'm assuming you started as a kid, right? Like 15, Dirt 16? Dirt bikes and stuff like that, yeah. But I was more like the problem with men. Men, no one's really, unless you they got don't family. <laughs> unless you got family that's in the bikes, ain't nobody letting you ride their bike like that. Of course. Yeah. So yeah, you got course, to be able so. to get out there and afford to buy a bike and piece it together and learn that way. So I did get involved early, but I was an adult before I actually earned, owned my first street bike mm. and was able to really start putting in work that way. Bro, you don't even trust people to like sit on your fucking bike. Right, like. right. You know what I mean? Like th- like for me, it would have to be one of my club brothers because I was part of a club back yeah. in Philly. It, like My club brothers, I trust them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe some riders that I've really put in some work with on the streets. But other than that, nah. Yeah. But it's yeah. also like a pretty small community. You kind of like, you see a lot of the same people around. You see a lot of the same bikes pop up at certain places. Yeah. Like It got to the point where you would know people by their exhaust. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you would you would hear different exhaust sounds and get used to riding with certain people and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's ghost. I just yeah. can't believe you were doing fucking like 160 and shit. Like. Dude, oh yeah, my bike topped out. My my most powerful bike that I had was a CBR one a nine five four. So yeah. that's the bike that really changed the game. Two thousand and two yeah, nine five four, yeah. and I would top out at one eighty nine on that. Jesus, Christ. and that still wasn't the fastest bike in the pack. If you fuck up by a millimeter, it's that over. speed though. Like it's you're over. just you are going to space. Over. Jesus Christ. Over. Dude, Dude call- I got hit. So the uh, the night, like I knew, I was like, oh fuck, my insurance expires tonight. I'm riding home at like one in the morning, so I'm an hour past my fucking insurance expiring. Hilarious. And I owe like fucking tw- 10, 12 grand on the bike. <laughs> so, and I'm, I'm just riding home like usual after spots, and fucking uh, sure enough, a car just comes into my lane, hits me. I rip his whole fucking bumper off. Like, the, you know, like on a Harley, like on the, 
where the fucking uh, foot pegs are. There's like the scrapers, the metal rods mm-hmm. that just went right into his shit and just Whoa. tore his fucking bumper off. The bike was like fine. I, I, I didn't couldn't couldn't see a scratch on it. And as he was you know pulling into me, he was like, "Just two dollars, brother. That's it." <laughs> and I, <laughs> I was like, "You again, motherfucker!" <laughs> and, but dude, literally, and I'm sitting there on the middle of the West Side Highway. We're both stopped. Traffic behind us. I see a cop at the fucking curb ahead of us, and I'm like. Fuck my ass. I got no license. My insurance is expired. This guy's like, I'm I saw he, I saw he, he saw, and I'm in flip flops. So I'm like, I'm not, he doesn't have insurance. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, 1 a.m. flip flops? Yeah. 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 Go, 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 go. I'm go, not keep getting going. it. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it. And I just started riding off. As I'm riding off, I get to the next corner. I just feel my knee just fucking. That's what I realized. It's like, oh, the bike's fine because my knee took the fucking hit oh. of his car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That adrenaline, man. Oh, that shit fucking I had sucked. one like that, too. Actually, that's the first time I ended up with multiple bikes at one time. I was test driving. It's like a biker threesome. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I was test driving a bike. And I was I was gonna buy, but this solidified me buying it. So I went to take the bike for like a little spin around the yeah, corner. Yeah. You know what I mean? My family, everybody is there. My car is there, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, go ahead, take it for a spin." Yeah. And I go out and I get to the intersection, and I'm at a light. And you know, when you're on a new bike, fucking around, you gotta find the clutch. You gotta feel yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even the same model bike, every, every single clutch bike, is different. Is yeah, depending different, on yeah. the rider, it can it's a different feel. Yeah. So I'm. The light turns green. I dump it in the first, and I'm like, you know, trying to take my time and feel it out. And next thing I know, the bike just somehow just boom falls over, really? and it's just like moving from underneath me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like this isn't yeah, my yeah, bike. Yeah. Like this is what is happening. The guy behind me, he just saw the light turn green and just oh went. Jesus. So he literally just back tire, yeah. and now I'm. On the side, and he's pushing and obviously scraping and causing so much cosmetic damage on the bike. Right, right. I just bought this thing. Like, I, I, I can't, I coming back, like, I'm going for a test drive. Now I'm coming back. The whole <laughs> yeah. side of the thing is all scratched up. So it's like, well, I guess I have to buy the bike now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh I wasn't God, totally bro. sold, but it was like, well, I, I yeah. just fucked up the whole bike. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah, I have to. Because you're buy buying it from somebody, right? Right, yeah, right, so right. Yeah, you yeah. Just bring them back up, fucked up. So bike. embarrassing. Like, no, I'm an experienced <laughs> rider. I know what I'm doing. And you yeah. leave and you come back like That's seven you, minutes though. later. Like, and yeah, it was terrible. He trusted you too. Like, I know his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I tried coming for his helmet years ago. <laughs> oh, man, it, it, I can't wait. I need to fucking... I still have it in me. I know I still have it in me because when bikes zip by, I stop whatever I'm doing. Yeah. Mm. My, my girl, she gets mad and she's like, you're like a fucking... It's gotten better. But like when we first started dating, she was like, you're like a fucking dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Like yeah, you yeah. hear bikes and you just stop. Like, There's like, just a bug. There's something about it. Like I, I look at every bike I pass like... There's a couple, and it's funny what you said about like bikers. It transcends race, yeah. Because like it, it really does. You, it's uh, like sp- hobbies like that. It's just like oh, we all just love this thing. It mm-hmm. Doesn't matter who this is. Like there's a bunch of black dudes I see with like sick Harleys, mm. and I'm just like, it's like you see a comic somewhere. Like you just you can already talk to this guy, and just, right. it's like right away that barrier. I got there. kicked off a spirit so, line with a comic. Like last weekend, what? really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, wanna... you know how bad you got to be to get kicked <laughs> I didn't, off. I didn't spirit? Get, we all got kicked off. Wait, what other comics? We all bro? got kicked off. I don't remember his name, <laughs> but I was just happy to see him there. I was like, "Oh shit, what's up, bro? Let's hang yeah, out." Yeah. yeah, so that's all I have. How'd you get kicked out? We all got kicked out because the uh, the fucking we didn't get kicked out. We got deboarded oh. because some fucking thing was fucked up and obviously in the Spirit Airline, and uh, we all got off. Forty percent of the people that were on that fucking flight were kicked off. The night before, Jesus and they were like, "We're not leaving the plane." And I was like, nah. <laughs> "I didn't know that Spirit Airlines don't let you charge your phones. Like, they don't have any charging stations." Yeah, I mean, every single thing in Spirit is like, <laughs> if, if it's going down nuts. and you need the oxygen mask, you have to pay twelve dollars <laughs> yeah. for it to drop. Like, it's a, it's a. I, t- I had to take a Spirit Airline flight once uh, to uh, to get to California. And it was like a cheap ass fucking flight, and I paid for like their first class, which was like the big seats. Uh-uh. <laughs> but you just seats, yeah. you just get like a normal size seat, like uh-uh. towards the front. And then I'm sitting there, and I watch like the first pilot come out to like take a shit. <laughs> for, and I, it, it was a male pilot and a female pilot, and the male pilot like was clearly the more experienced guy. He just came out, took a forty minute dump. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, and meanwhile, just as he starts dumping, turbulence hits this right, motherfucker, right. and I'm just like. We got a 22 year old bitch in the he's cockpit right now. He's screaming from the. He's uh, screaming. He's like, "Hey, old bitch, put, put your hand on it." 
I'm I, the I'm like hitting the fucking the beep boop. They come over. I'm like, can you give that fucking pilot a pepped up yeah. baseball bitch? Right. <laughs> hey, you gay dude, stop serving coffee. <laughs> Get up there and give that chick a hand, dude, will you? Dude, that was the first time. <laughs> <laughs> They're always gay. Why are they always gay? Every dude, time. Because uh, no. no dude wants to do that fucking job. Are you kidding me? I think it's because the plane's kind of shit. Imagine like a dick. you serving someone. Hilarious. On an air, airport, <laughs> in an airline. I, I do feel I like I do feel for stewardesses like you ever fly on like a really nice day. It's just like a oh, Saturday yeah, yeah. and you just look looking at the sky. You're like, dude, you're just going in the sky, just flying past yeah. all the nice days. Your day sucks, yeah, man. As yeah. a stewardess, fucking eighty two degrees and you're like getting in a plane to go fly somewhere else. Dude, Ugh. I don't understand how anybody does that job. I don't get it. Like anytime I fly, I go. Like, I don't know how you're doing. This. Right, it's a like a waiter in a tube in the sky. Right, please tell me. Shit I money. hope you're running drugs. Like, like I hope you're doing something else yeah. for crazy money on the side. Because it used to be like a luxurious, like Pan America. Like we've got the hottest sluts in the sky. Yeah, <laughs> they're fucking pilots and shit. Now it's like. Pilots fuck a bunch, but everybody's so overworked. There's not that many pilots. The fucking airline staff doesn't get paid much. Like you're dealing with people at their most stressed at all times. It's like that or a hospital. It's yeah, like, where people are just fucking anxious. You yeah. know, dude. I don't know. I flew to Japan and I was like, these are the best. This is the best fucking job of all time. Those, really? Yeah. Those first of all, they were professional. They're fucking. Well, those Japanese pilots, they're known to miss. Well, <laughs> <laughs> kamikaze. <laughs> I just saw fucking Godzilla. Have you seen the new one? Mm, the one that's black and one. white? I've never seen a Godzilla film. Yo, dude, they fucking they, they, they brought back kamikaze pilots in there, and I forgot those kind of individuals existed. You want to hear my stupid-ass Godzilla joke? That's yeah. Good. I said this on the pod, but I was like, um, you know, Godzilla has been terrorizing these Asian communities for so long. And um, it's amazing to see that he just hosted SNL. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it sounds good. It's a Shane joke. It's a Shane joke. <laughs> call him Godzilla. Godzilla. Um, Godzilla. Well, I, I did want to talk about Shane later on in the uh, in the episode, but what, what did you just say a second ago? You were talking about Japan? Japan. Yo, dude, they're, the stewardess was all the most beautiful stewardesses I've seen since They I've were Japanese? Flying. Of course. Uh, uh, so they can't even see you. Oh, well, <laughs> come on, folks. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, they didn't it's like me. a one-way mirror. I'm Dominican, so they smelled me. I was all cologne up, baby. <laughs> wait, do you get? Do you still dress for a flight? Nah, bro. I, wait. I, mean, I, I try to. You know, I'm not going in there in sandals. Yeah, right. Like I'm wearing shoes and, and sweatpants. Sweatpants. Yeah, I'm a fat guy. You so. try to do high end sweatpants up yeah, and let people know. Yeah, that yeah. Tech, baby. Yeah, are you that fat? You're like you're just like a little. No, like uh, listen. I'm fat, bro. I would call you a little. I, I, I can't take off my shirt nowhere. I wouldn't call you like a chunker, but I'd say you're like a little chunky, like a loving chunky. I wouldn't say it's. Uh, I think you're at a good size, honestly. Nah, I mean maybe for my age. Like you, like, like you could play like uh, somebody's best friend in a show. A hundred percent. You know what I mean? Yeah, easily. That's that's yeah. his vibe, especially now in 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 this woke era. I yeah. Can do it. Well, that's over. That's coming to an end, baby. No, nah, not on what the woke era. I think so. I you think, think we're so? Out of it. I think we're out of it. I hope so. You think we? What, what do you mean? Because I'm not going to survive as an old man if it gets any more <laughs> woker. I, I know I am headed towards like you know just on a rocking chair, just like shotgun on my lap, <laughs> just, just <laughs> saying awful things like, about how it used to be. It's like black snake mode. <laughs> <laughs> Got a white girl chained in a radiator in the back. Like, what do you want? Right? Boom. Tell tell them to shut the hell up in there. <laughs> that bitch is spun. <laughs> Dude, I would love to go to Japan. My chick uh, wants to go too. I would love to fuck. I think it, as soon as I make a little bit of money, I got to take her to, to the to the islands. Yeah. Take her to Japan. I'm going to Europe this week. This will be nice. my first oh, time shit. over there. Where are you going? Everywhere, like London, Paris, yeah, Geneva, yeah. Brussels. This is a good time there. to do it. We got to, about two years before the next world war. So right. Gotta, gotta so my it. flight back, I just bought my tickets. Like I'm flying out on Delta, which they put us on a Virgin flight, which yeah. is fine as normal. But we're coming out of so Paris. Those guys in there are probably gonna be kind of awkward. <laughs> a Virgin flight, folks. <laughs> <laughs> a flight full of virgins. You see. <laughs> we'll be right back. Uncle Lev. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> Uncle Lev show. <laughs> What the uncle left? <laughs> but no, I just <laughs> flew. Uh, so we just bought tickets for French B to get back. What the fuck is that? I think it's like France's Spirit Airlines. Okay. it's Dude, other countries' planes <laughs> scare the shit out of me. I wanted to go to Portugal. Me and my chick were looking at Portugal, and I was like, their name of their fucking airline was like, Tap Air. I was like... 
I don't want to tap no. air. Right? I don't want to tap. I don't want to tap shit in the sky. <laughs> what are you talking about? All of their fucking names, dude. I just don't trust any of them. Like right. even like their official sounding ones, like Air Canada. Yeah. I don't know, bro. No, or uh, Air Alaska, which is like that's what I heard been... is the shittiest. Yeah, is that the one that the, the door just fell off of too? I th- I think that was a that might have been a Delta. I think Delta is the best name. You could have. Del- I don't know. I think that's just a New York thing, man. Really? Like, I think New Yorkers, because I see here the Delta terminals are insane in New York. Yeah, Everywhere yeah, really. else, it's like US Air, United. Those are like the big wigs. Everywhere else, New Yorkers, I think they go with Delta because it's the most expensive and it has like the Delta Lounge, which is like, yeah, I, I get it, but I don't understand how that makes the flight. I think Delta has the better. best branding. I think it's a name that makes you feel assured. It sounds military. It sounds very military. Like I, I like fucking it. hate American Airlines. I, really, I hate their like their their plane libraries are ugly as fuck. There's that shitty gray. Every flight I've taken on American has either been like I've had days show up at the airport, wait six hours, flights canceled after six hours. Like mm. American has fucked me many a time. I've uh, never had a good time flying American. Delta, mm. I feel like always just they have the best amenities on the flights. They always got fucking TVs and all that shit. Yeah, I got bumped up to uh, like I've got bumped up before a couple times, which is great. And I don't even have like any fucking status. I can't with them. wait till that happens. See today. now, I'm just starting to care about that shit. Yeah, like accumulating miles. Like I was actually mad that we did this one, not Delta coming back, because I just I want the miles. Oh yeah, and and the points and the credit for what I'm spending with this thing and I've started to do not bragging but I've started to do Comfort Plus let's go boy treat myself a little bit better you know what I mean you you get that leg room you get the noise canceling Mm. headphones fresh in the pack you know what I mean you're like hey it's not bad little little pre-board I mean it's weird Comfort Plus we're still boarding like fourth or fifth yeah yeah like which is weird that Delta does that there's like nine boarding groups which is insane right Comfort Plus I start snapping at it (laughs) <laughs> yo, can I, yo, can, let me get a beer real quick yo, I'm sorry Comfort Plus though They got the bigger bathrooms Where you can actually join The My High Club You're not even hitting The like the uh, button You're just like <laughs> Boo boo Right <laughs> You're doing right. it with your own face <laughs> Ding dong 3C over here <laughs> That's got, not like The Jamie Foxx show right? Boo boo Right He's got like A little sick bell <laughs> yeah, Why is Colin calling me Colin's calling me Let me put him on the air Let's hear it do we, I don't trust Colm on the air. Colm? Yeah. He, hey, fuck him. Hey, buddy, you're, you're live on the air. What can I do for you? Oh, I was, I was ringing you to see if you saw what that uh, Ty Riviera guy posted about. Yeah, well, well, let's talk about that not on the pod. <laughs> I'll ring you when I get out of here. He said, he said some fucking honest shit, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> this, isn't the, this isn't a Patreon, you motherfucker. Right, right. right. Uh, I'll, I'll call you after, buddy. Column's like that UFC fighter. You know that inappropriate UFC fighter that just will not stop saying like unwoke shit in his interviews? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is all of them now. <laughs> Shout really, out to them. I think those stupid pay- newsy paperboy Irish hats he wears give him like fucking CTE, <laughs> dude. Yeah. It's like they're just too tight on his fucking potato head, dude. <laughs> potato head. That's fucking ringing. I, lo- yeah. I love Column. He's uh, one of my favorites to, to shit talk with oh you know yeah, yeah. Nice. he's uh i like a guy with a little uh little anger yeah yeah, yeah. a little anger yeah. yeah you know but i'm trying to now i'm like i'm working some some okay room so i'm trying to just live and let live that's it let this let the set speak just do well hmm. yeah just fucking focus on the craft get the fuck out of there like anytime i see somebody now and i'm like this guy fucking blows i'm just like just throw that out right <laughs> right don't really, don't really matter. that's economy thinking yeah. <laughs> people suck man just yeah. let them suck that's what it is this smoke break is brought to you by yo delta.com the official getting high sponsor of the gas digital network um speaking of which uh not people sucking but I, uh, Shane was doing Radio City this weekend. So I fucking um, I bothered him about it. And I was like, yeah, "Can I come see the Friday early?" Because I, I had, all my spots have been so late, like the the last week. So, um, and he was like, "For sure." So I I went over, it. dude. I, I live like right by Radio City. Nice. I gotta say, walking over and like, and it, if if tears leave my face right now, it's because I I have a pressing sinus infection. <laughs> like I can literally feel it's it right not now. Not because I'm a homosexual for sure. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whose cock was in what? <laughs> no, um, I look. I'm walking over there, and I'm like, and I see how many people are going in to see Shane, and I see a fucking picture of him on the on Radio City's building, 
and there's just this electricity. And I, this is literally the worst time for my fucking sinuses to fucking kick. Are you Jesus about to fucking rice, dude. Hey. Um, I just fucking, <laughs> I just really respect him. <laughs> so proud of him. <laughs> no, so but it was just so, it was just so cool. Like you're seeing like somebody that you watch like just move here and have nothing going on and just be funny, and then you see the product of him selling out Radio City four fucking shows. Yeah, man. And then I'm, I'm, I go and uh, I actually sat in and watched the whole show. I and the the night before we were hanging at the cellar and he was like he's like I don't know about this new hour or whatever and I watched the new hour and I'm like I'm watching half an hour of him just obliterating mm -hmm. like obliterating with mm -hmm. new shit I've never heard I'm just like where's the I don't know part where's the <laughs> fucking the you're not sure of this material part right. he, he just, it, like he already has like a new hour that's like blowing the roof off a 5,000 seater like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. because he calls Louis and Louis like you suck at this <laughs> <laughs> and he's like what <laughs> what you know how much better I am than you did you see that I did he was yeah. like uh, uh, don't do any new material you dude I gotta you know, say like I, I you know it's almost like redundant at this point of just how much we all nut hug Shane but like it is you're watching it work. You're just like, how did you fucking? How do you already have a new hour? This good? It's like crazy. Like, meanwhile, I look at myself. Like, I'm I'm not. You know, I'm gonna be ten years in this year, and I'm just like, I'm still like, what's the perfect fifteen I could do here? You know, like yeah. I can go headline and have a good set that yeah. I, that I like and I'm proud of. But like, just really crafting it down. It's just like watching guys like him work. But it, you'll get there. Just maybe, the but maybe not. But you will, not in your head, you'll never get there. But. I don't know about never, Other but I'm like, people. I hope I can get that good at putting material together. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You will, but even when you're there, you won't know. Other people will have to tell you you're there, and you won't yeah. believe them. You know, yeah, but like, Shane also is a... He's, it's good that he's like very hard on himself creatively, and he's like... He's a heavy critic of his own shit. Right. And another thing that's great is like you see comics, they start to get like a first Netflix special or, or something like that. Like every special after that kind of starts to taper a bit. And then there's sophomore slump. Yeah, there's more in the setup now. It's less punchy. It's like, dude, almost every line he's saying is just fucking slamming the room yeah. open. It's like, it's, it's, it's genuinely like fucking. Uh, and then inspiring. it goes one of two ways. If you're a dude. Like your second or third special, depending on how much you blow up, just becomes stories about you yeah. hanging out with famous yeah. people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you're a chick, you're more than likely going to either get in a relationship or have a kid, and then all of your jokes and become about like my baby. The next thing you know, you're pregnant. And you're yeah, 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 yeah. Derek Dresher in the What's building, going on, buddy. Mike? How That's you doing? It. Good, What's good. up, buddy? Thanks All for joining right. us. Absolutely. Now, can I uh... hat on backwards? No one's mistaking you for over thirty. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Nat, can I bother you for some water, please? Yeah, can I get gotcha. some coffee, Nat? Yeah. Please, thank you so much. Um, Yo, this guy came and just demanded shit, B. I mean, I just I needed to get on. Damn, mm. I got the broke chair. And then we put the brokest person in that chair. <laughs> I, I got. Uh, no, paid. we were just talking I'm about how money. fucking good Shane is, and I, I went to I went to go see him, and um, who? <laughs> <laughs> just uh yeah who just is he fucking, but, when, <laughs> I, when do you think when do you think they go when do you think the internet starts hating him outside of i've out, already seen some stuff where like outside of woke people who've been around him like fan of him for a while they're like oh chain's new fan base is so gay so it's also but that's like every first. band yeah. though it's like yeah. we liked them before they blew up yeah, like, yeah that's yeah. that's yeah. everything there is a thing where like if your face is on too much stuff People yeah. just kind of get sick of seeing your face. Oversaturation. But, like, but I think is, which is what's going through my body right now. But I think <laughs> your heart, if, uh, <laughs> dude. If he, I mean, if he continues working at like the quality level that he's making, though, like you know what I mean. It's I don't know how quickly that goes away. Mm -hmm. I really think right now, like watching the hours he's putting out back to back. I think it's like as close as we could see to like when Louis was hitting his prime. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere, and bro. And putting like yeah. fucking that level of shit yeah. out back. Would to you back, go to Radio so. City to watch him? Yeah, I went. Uh, Fuck, when night was it? You said us? Friday. Was it, fr it was Friday or Saturday? It might have been Saturday. Okay. I didn't go the first night, so I, I think it was Saturday. Um, and it all was new just, stuff, great. All new, just fuck it. I, I texted him the next day. I was like, and we, we, you know, I saw him that night, but just the next day I had to let him know, like, dude, I'm still thinking about some of those bits. Like, it was, it was fucking great. It was really great. So just proud of him. Just very proud of the dog. Um, and, uh, yeah, anybody else? Anybody else uh, like chain stuff? <laughs> Before we close this button Aww. up. <laughs> yeah. Hey Shane. I'm assuming you guys talked about SNL and all that shit already. Like there's nothing new that you we can touch on. Well, here's the thing is like the Thank only so two much, things in the news this week are Shane and Sydney Sweeney's tits. That's it. That's What's the up only with that? Thing. I just saw that shit 
on the way here to Sydney and Sydney did a uh, monologue talking about her titties and yeah. there's too many titty jokes apparently. Uh, I didn't hear that. I just saw yeah. everybody <laughs> celebrate her tits. I, I, didn't, I never thought you could yeah. just talk about titties I've never much. seen her titties before. You've never seen Sydney Sweeney's tits? No. Just... Natalie, pull up the gifts. This is uh, this <laughs> Wait, is for the oh, gas oh, fans right you here. refer to the gifts as the tits? <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they, pull she, up these gifts. No, so pull up. Starting with this is what it was on SNL and then I'll get the gifts Seems like some regular titties. Yeah, them shits is voluptuous. Yo, just you wait, my boy. Just you wait. But yeah, look, you got to see the Euphoria knockers, buddy. She was in Euphoria? Yeah. I've never oh watched this God. show before. She gave me Euphoria the way I was watching <laughs> that show, folks, <laughs> with my dick out. And she was like an ex, she's an ex um, porn star, no? I don't think so. Nah, ex porn stars don't become real, real yeah. actors. If you no, ex, ex no, porn never somebody on your porn. Yeah, I don't even think you could be an ex there's porn star. Even if you stop, you're I still think, a porn star. I think Sylvester is the only right. one that, that made it. I don't this think is that. from Euphoria? Yeah, this is not the full one, though. We need the full one. Right. Of her showing it all. Uh, no, she's got great sex scenes. I mean, yeah. it's the heroin addict on Euphoria that's the porn star. Hey. Uh, yeah, that's Cherry Chloe. Slanging that heroin. Anybody who does real porn, they I don't know. Has anyone ever successfully transitioned to Stallone. That's it. But he oh, wrote. No, he had the right parts for himself. Mm. A Rocky. And, and no one knew shit, he did yeah. porn for a long time. I, yeah, I think people still don't know that. I, yeah, I, I just found out yeah. just now. <laughs> did I, you was, I was just now when I found out. Like, well, yeah, he was yeah, in uh, your Philadelphia heroes. Who, you who, found you, out? Yeah, yeah, yeah who, who put that info out there? His brother, huh? <laughs> Frank <laughs> Stallone. Was his his such a loser. Got beat. That motherfucker, dude. There's a great. His dad is a big loser. Is he? His dad. Let me tell you. Well, by the way, Stallone's first porn. I think. You guys have all seen it. It's called Hard as a Rocky. <laughs> uh, but dude, his brother is such a fucking bum. There's this great YouTube channel called Norman's Guitar Shop, and his brother, it's like all the what? God, <laughs> those are those are what we call jammers. Yeah, she's got a little bit of ethnicity to her. I like that. Now, are, the, those... it, the nipples are interesting. They're not big. The, not the kind I usually go for. Yeah, that's not full white girl. Yeah. But they look like perfect eyes on her yeah. tits. She got yeah. she got saucer nipples. But, but saucer find shit. the gif. Uh, find some gifts of her fucking. Find some gifts of uh, her, her. The one where she takes her bra. Those off are a is gift. Phenomenal. Those are a gift. Those are a gift, yeah. folks. Alrighty. What are we doing here, folks? So anyways, uh, the Uncle Lev show. <laughs> Stallone's brother is always on fucking, uh, on this channel, like, buying, like, super rare $20,000 guitars. He's like, my uh, my brother's letting me buy this one as a gift for myself. Like, <laughs> wow. he's just always bumming his brother out for fucking guitars. <laughs> He stinks. What are you gonna say about his dad? <laughs> his dad's the same thing. His like the father, is... the brother, and the dad. They all hate. I saw him. his. Uh, I just saw his documentary recently. Yeah. on Netflix, and his dad is like ha hated yeah. him, hated really? on him. And then when he, Rocky One came out, he was, "Hey, I wrote my own fucking boxing movie. Yeah, yeah, it's way better than yours. Hey, let's do this one instead." Yep. God wow. damn. Yeah. yeah. But he was Good also man. a Vietnam War vet. Shout out to the boys. His dad was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. some shit. Sure. He was a yeah. vet. Oh, and his mother is like a Jewish psychic. What? Yeah, really? Stallone's mom. Yeah, yeah, it's wild. The wild. He has a wild uh, upbringing. Damn. Yeah. Italian stallion. Yep. That's some shit. God. Yep. I didn't even know he did porn though. Yep. Is there a picture of Stallone's cock? <laughs> There's That's definitely. You could definitely find the porn picture of him. We should for find sure. Stallone's cock. Where are we? Vietnam today? <laughs> I I think it's just a nice. It's just a nice river. <laughs> Zips in the wire. It's giving me kind of Lord of the Rings vibes, like the Shire. I feel like we're about to get fucking dinosaur. No. T-Rex come in and bite your head off. <laughs> I feel like we're about this to kind of Jurassic Park <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Uh, think about it. All right, all right. I've also never seen a Jurassic Park movie. Ever? Ever. Really? I'm not a Spielberg guy. And that's what stopped you? Uh, I don't blame you for that. Wait, wait, wait. How old were you in 1993 when the first one came out? Negative three. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, that's why I was about to say. How did you ignore that fucking... My brother loves them. He's he's older than me, but I never... I never, like... By the time Jurassic Park was, like, coming out in theaters, it was, like, the 12th movie yeah, or whatever, and right, I just I didn't right. care anymore. Okay. It was, like, Guardians of the Galaxy to me. It was, like, yeah. that era. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. But I feel like I should watch them, but I don't, just, to, just to know the references a little bit, you know? But Gar that's my generation. We weren't big on the dinos. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The only dinosaur I know is uh, sitting next to me right now, folks. There you go. <laughs> the old... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't think of a, a heroin line to add the source. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get one fast. Enough. Heroin a source. <laughs> Dope a source. The tie there you go. <laughs> Dope a source. The Dope tie off a source. <laughs> <laughs> so, Derek, what's up, baby? I'd love a cigarette. Love That'd be a nice right now. Yeah. Love love Can we smoke in here? The show makes you want to smoke. Cigarettes. Yeah. Maybe a good hookah. Right now, uh, who can that's my right. Dominican. Way to Dominican right now, it up. Right? <laughs> wait, wait, but I don't like the right. fucking Dominican. chemical-y flavor in a hookah. Is the thing like the 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 smoke is like, 
I like a cigarette or a cigar smoke more than I like a hookah smoke. Like uh, the consistency of the smoke. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. You know what though? I do like. I've if you've ever done hookah in like a Mediterranean. Mm-hmm. Restaurant, yeah, where they actually have like the snake charming yeah, yeah, girls yeah, yeah. and the girls with the finger things that come yeah. out. It's something about that vibe. Yeah. It's a bit like I, I fuck with hookah there. Well, yeah. you know, Derek's mom was a hookah for many years. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry hookah, huh? Mango hookah. <laughs> that lady could uh, satisfy twelve boys at a time. You know? There you go. I'm just joking. About that was mom. good. That I'm was a great kidding. one. Hookah hooker. Yeah, you they got don't, it. They don't know. You got it. They don't know. They don't know what's going on out yep. there. Uh, let's do plugs real quick while we got everybody in the building. Derek, what you got going on, brother? I have, I'm done. I have absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm retired. Yeah, I'm retired. I'm done. Nice. Uh, listen to On the Gate. Hit right That's here it. on Gas Digital. Yes. Kevin Sanchez, you have a podcast? Uh, not anymore. Kevin Sanchez valid on Instagram. <laughs> Damn, no, hey. Everybody's out. <laughs> what, what happened to your podcast? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just tired of doing a podcast. Oh, are they uh, still doing it? I don't know. I don't no. know. It's none of my business. Did you split off to those people? Dylan's uh, on no, the road. No. Dylan's on the road. He's busy. He's with are you big... still friends? Yeah, it's my buddy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, he said, "Buddy." He said, he said "Buddy." Oh, I caught buddy. that too. Yeah. What's wrong? It's not What's wrong your with bro? Huh? That's yeah, he's your my buddy. buddy. Yeah, he's my buddy. I, I, I said you do hate each other, but you're not public about it. No, no, no. no you got, you gotta be like, no, I love him. That's my guy. That's, that's my guy. That's yeah. my guy. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Kevin Sanchez valid on Instagram, uh, and I got shit coming out soon. Nice. Mm-hmm. What are you taking a laxative? That's lax. Dave, what are you gonna do? A thirty minute? I am. All right. Nice. All right. Well, I'm Dave Temple on all social media platforms. Uh, I do still have a podcast, No Need for Apologies, gang, gang. which is here on the uh, Gas Digital Network. Please check out all of those episodes. Uh, you can just move over to the No Need tab if you're already a Gas Digital subscriber. Uh, we're currently on tour, the third month of the four tour. Uh, we start the European leg this week, which is get the fuck are you guys are going to Europe? Yeah, man, we go to London. We start in London Thursday, so we'll be in Europe for the next month. But we come back stateside April 9th, and you can catch us in DC, Baltimore, Phoenix, and Pottstown are our last stops throughout the month of I'd April. I love to so see if it. If you're in any of those places, please come and check us out, man. Live comedy, podcasting, games, and fun galore for yeah. NNFA Live. In the uh, Love First Show Discord, you guys get a lot of love. To the, really? To the point where I've even been a little pissed. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you want to see me, you got to come to the jungle, man. <laughs> uh, can we pull up my dates, Nat? We got a lot of dates. Go to lovefurcomedy.com. Dear, all right, look, folks, if you are in Tampa, mm. come to Side Splitters this month, March 21st. If you are in Boston at Laugh Boston, March 28th, it's the week after. And uh, Phoenix House of Comedy in April, San Diego Mic Drop in April. So the the ones I'm stressed about, Tampa, Boston, and San Diego. No, you're going to sell out Tampa. I have no idea. Please spread the word, folks. Tell a friend about it. Put it on your social media. Buy some tickets. Bring the friends out. I really hope to see you guys there. there you Hopefully, if we pack it out, we can come do a weekend. House of Comedy out. just got back from there this morning. You'll do fine. Which I, one, I played which there before. Which one did you go to? Hmm? Which one were you at? The Arizona. Arizona? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good club. Nice yeah. little condo out there, Yep, right? yep. Right. Yeah, right across the street. How good. did you do? You brought some chicks back to the condo? No, or? no, I'm in a relationship. In Phoenix? <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix? In the world. In ah. the whole world. <laughs> ah! No, in world. this universe? Oh, you know, I tried right to pull now. the same shit to I'm Ryan Long the other day. Oh, did I you? I was like, you cheated on your girl in London, right? He was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like no, dude. He didn't like that one What's bit. What's wrong with you guys? Dude? <laughs> dude, all of our chicks listen to all, all our, our shit. You think I they're going to understand the, yeah. the fucking finesse of the quips? <laughs> <laughs> all they're listening for is dirt. That's, That's it. My chicks listen to right now. I That's like the only reason why girls would listen to podcasts, right? Oh, I don't think podcasts interest girls, really. Th- this is what I know. My girlfriend is listening right now until I said she's listening. Now she's like, well, fuck him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she just turned it off. I was like, oh, you think I'm listening to you, bitch? Oh, that's toxic. <laughs> that's hilarious. No, so she's toxic. great. She's, uh, we got into a big fight uh, last week, but uh, it was a fight where I had to take a day of going, I don't have anything to say to you yet. You? Yeah, I had to like collect my thoughts. you know. And once I got both of them in order... <laughs> <laughs> then I went to go pick up my teeth. <laughs> she beat the shit out of me. You see? No, I went uh, to pick up my teeth. Yeah. So we, but we, we got through it. We're we're on the mend. We're on the up. And um, yeah, things are. I think though it was impossible to not fight with your chick in February. I think, like mm, February, Black like, History Month. Yeah, 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 man. yeah. Yo, Black History Month was a violent fucking month for Black people. Really? Like I realized this, that's this why. One? This one? It's just all we did was fight. I didn't know every month was February. <laughs> what, but it was like it was like Cat Williams. It's, it's a, it seemed like that started something 
Where I mean, you saw that obviously with black comedians, they did nothing but fight. Oh right, 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 right. All dude, February. the Corey Holcomb Donnell thing. I I yeah. hope this becomes nuclear just for my own entertainment. <laughs> yeah. like, just selfishly, like I was a little just, surprised that Corey, with the microphone in his hand, wasn't able to get the upper hand a little bit more with Donnell. Because it seemed like Donnell had but the upper Corey hand. But Corey said I mean, something Don, that Donnell's, got a big pop, but I couldn't hear what it's what he said. Yeah. Cause, cause, I, Go ahead. Donnell just don't take too well to getting roasted. No, nah, he's not. He's not good at it. You know, we saw what happened with with David Lucas and all that. And I just, but he overpowered uh, Corey while Corey was on stage. Well, see, that was the other thing. It was weird. Like it was like, in my opinion, he handled it with kind of feminine energy. Oh, for sure. You know, just walking in the room and yelling, ah, ah, interrupting another comic show. It's like, yo, you 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 know better than this. Right, if you right. got a pro, stick around and say something to that man after Afterwards. the show yeah, or yeah. even before the show. There's no way you make a good point. He Dave. wasn't in the room. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's just a weird way to. But like you know how girls. Can you give, just a, like, can you give a backstory? Can you preface this for the people that don't know what's going on? Because I, like, I, I only like... know a little bit. I just saw the same clip that TMZ released. Are you not Donnell Rawlings? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have on red socks. Okay. <laughs> can you check it for a necklace, please? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like I um. Ah, fuck. You made me forget what I was talking about, Lev. God damn it. Uh. So, I mean, Corey Holcomb, he's on stage. I think he said something about I'm Chappelle. I'm a fan of Corey Holcomb. Yo, wait, wait. I'm a was fan. That, was oh, that he like was a... doing a show at the Laugh Factory. Corey Holcomb was doing a show at was the Laugh a Factory. Sh- was that a headlining set, or was that like a... No. Okay. I think it was, he was just it doing was, a spot. It was a showcase, was a and spot. Corey happened to be on after Donnell. So, he oh. went up talking shit, you know, just shitting on the comic that went on before yeah, him, yeah. and Donnell came back in the room. Yeah. How y'all like listening to Hot Mid? Which is a wild thing to say, bro. That's a wild That's thing so to Corey, say. That's so Corey, though. Hot Mid? That's so Corey. He called him. He called he Donnell called, Hot he Mid? He called Donnell Hot Mid, bro. He called him Mid. I don't know. It's like... And I get it. It's a weird line. Like, if a comic is fucking with the previous comic on stage, it is jokes. I get it. You could be a bit sensitive to it, but you can't really take anything serious that a comic says... From but stage, I, I think right. above a certain line, though, like uh, Corey shouldn't shit on Donnell on stage. After, I don't think he was. Like, oh his, man, uh, yeah. just the guys. You, you've been doing comedy for twenty years. I think the only time you could do that, it maybe is if it's like actually a dog shit, like they embarrassing give you a comic, like like something that's somebody who shouldn't be doing stand up. You know right, what I mean? right, right, right. I, that's what I think. Like I know I kind of like I think in a perfect world I kind of buy into Chappelle's thing of like comics shouldn't hunt comic. We like we shouldn't be shitting on each other publicly like that. But at the same time, when Cat Williams goes and does it, we all get fucking excited. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's another comic that just shit on a couple people, and you're just like you're just like. Wah! Like d- just on the name drop, you're like Jesus Who, Christ. Who's that? And we're not gonna name names, but the uh, oh what? I don't want. I'm done. I'm done beefing. Yeah, I just want. Uh, I'm tired of running into people that I've talked shit about. <laughs> I, I just I want no anxiety. I just want to fucking have good relationships with people. And, <laughs> Fair and enough. that's it. Fair enough. All I'm right. gonna do a lot of uh, shaking hands, being like, "You're the best. You're the best, bro. <laughs> you're the best. You're the best." I don't think you could do that. All right. I, it's gonna come and go, you know. Once I once I get fucking sick of my life again, then it, it, right, it's right. Just, when you're feeling like shit, you're yeah. just you're just you trying breathe, to drag people to hell. You've breathed new life into yourself these past few weeks. I have. You're yeah. feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling you look good. you look like shit though. I'm. I'm. I'm I uh, mean, he literally Ill. came in the first ten minutes talking about how he looked like shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh my bad. I look like shit I balls. Mean to, no, I didn't mean to shit on my balls, man. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Dave Table, rank the Asians. Uh, Chinese last, dead last. <laughs> I think I did this to you last I would time. Say Fili- <laughs> I would say Filipinos last. But. No, you know what? It's only just because of the, the long standing. I don't know how it is here in New York, but the relationship between the Chinese and blacks in Philly, ooh, it's, oh, been a, it's been a thing for years. You know what I mean? We just disrespect yeah, yeah. each other, but we're heavily dependent upon them for like all of our meals. <laughs> <laughs> Their products. <laughs> right. Like, That's great. It's, uh, it's, it, it's a weird thing. And then like, the weird thing that we do to Chinese people, and I don't, people don't want to admit this. What, for like follow them and beat the shit out of them? 
home invasion. All right. Home <laughs> invasion. I'm not going to lie. That was a big thing in Philly. And I know L.A., they do it, too. Yeah, that's what you do when the restaurant's closed. So, <laughs> they must have some of that good stuff in that fridge. <laughs> but so, no, it's like weird because black people get this. There's like always like a hood vigilante that gets herself all riled up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and he'll be like, no, man, fuck this. They taking all the money in the community and blah, blah, blah. And then they ramp themselves yeah, up. Yeah, they serving us poison. Right. Yeah, and then yeah. they, they kind of get this Robin Hood thing where, you know what? I'm going in there and I'm going to tie these motherfuckers up. Yeah. And I'm taking everything. And it's like, it's a weird thing. So, like, they're right to behave towards us that the way. way they behave because... We there's a few of us that do that shit. Yeah, and it's funny know, the black and Chinese feud is kind of like Israel Palestine. Exactly, like a hundred years exactly. of context. Because here's the other thing that the Chinese people they get they're frustrated about, but I I get why they're frustrated. They like they know how to do business. They know how to level up. Like in Philly Chinatown, it has been proven their money circulates in Chinatown yeah. eleven times before it comes out to general population. God damn. That's crazy, right? So they yeah, know how to Koreans get it done. Koreans, too. Yeah. The Koreans and Jews are very good at keeping money. And this, money. Is, this is where America be fucking Chinese people over. When they come over here and they like, yo, I want to, I want a business, I want to run a business, they be like, all right, you can have a business. Mm -hmm. Over here, yeah, in yeah. the hood, Cam Fung, right, and yeah. they'd be like, "Come on, man!" Like they, mm -hmm. they know, like, "Oh, the white man tried to fuck me." Like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna do business. I'm gonna conquer blacks first, and then I'm coming for you, white man. Well, they, they, they have their fucking restaurants in shitty neighborhoods. Then their kids can go to fucking good schools and open a, a business somewhere else. Yeah, like, man. We start, used to, uh, kids are paying for their tuition in quarters. We would always <laughs> rob <laughs> laundry quarters. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we used to rob the the delivery guy back in the day. Yeah, we'd order forty, fifty dollars worth of food. That's and then fun. just fucking yeah, rob them. I don't. I don't feel good about it, but I could see how like some of those uh, strenuous relationships would happen in the low income. Area. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, kn what, I knew ahead. this one Chinese guy who was so fat, and we found out that he actually weighed one ton. This is not written down, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. This is like, no, no, he's looking down at his phone as if they're in there, but they're not. They're not. Those are coming Come right off the dome. Damn, I don't know about that one. You guys are gonna let that one egg. Roll. I don't like that you. <laughs> All right. So the reason why I'm not a big fan of that joke yeah. is because I was watching a roast battle one uh -huh. evening, and it was Jared Schwartz versus Aton Levine. Two killers. <laughs> Two Jews. <laughs> I, met, I met in Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Jared said, Jared said, he goes, Aton used to be really fat, and that's how he got his name, Aton. Aton. That's just a shittier version of the joke. Yeah, I yeah, guess yeah, you're yeah. right. I guess you're right. Um, anyway, thank you. Sorry to slow it you down. You almost delivered it like Jared. It yeah. was harsh. Yeah. Yeah, your nose looked huge. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's up, guys? Quick word from a new sponsor that we've got, Capsulite. These guys are awesome at helping prevent that awful dehydrated feeling the day after drinking. Especially every single year, the older you get. It feels like every month these get worse and worse. So uh, what you can do is actually prevent it. They have uh, capsules that you can take uh, the, the day before or while you're drinking to make sure that you can avoid this feeling. It's doctor formulated, supports your liver. It's the most potent product on the market and you take it before and during drinking. Um, it's essentially, it, it avoids that extreme, uh, dehydration that you're going to hit the next day. And I got, I, I, I know you guys know the feeling of, you know, having a, you drink one night and then you, the next two days of your life are fucking ruined. So Capsulite really helps you avoid that. You can check them out. Um, they have a 30% off coupon code right now with code GAS. Um, so if you go to their website, check out Capsulite. It's C-A-P-S-U-L-Y-T-E. C-A-P-S-U-L-Y-T-E. Go check them out. Um, promo code GAS. Get 30% off your order. Give it a try and uh, avoid that awful feeling, man. Now back to the show. What are we doing? What did I say? We're not shitting on comics. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So keep attacking Jared, folks. You know what I'm Come <laughs> yeah, on. there you go. He's joking. He's a nice, good, nice guy. He's a great kid. Nice guy. He's a good kid, Jared. Good egg. But yeah, we used to rob the Chinese, the Chinese uh, delivery guy, like regularly. Yeah. But, you know, different ones. It wasn't always the same Took their one. their fucking bike oven mitts. Now, the Jews and the Chinese get along great. I don't think so. I don't think, I, 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 I think I've the never Chinese just kind of the tolerate them. Well, the thing is, is that uh, both people like were uh, robbed or, you know, uh, had violence inflicted against them. And then the whole thing with Christmas time, the Jews eat Chinese food. Yeah. yeah. On Christmas, they do fuck with each other. But I've a lot of Chinese people in service have been really mean to me. <laughs> I really think it's just because you're fucking 
you're eating, you're taking all the food when you go there. Dude, I'll tell you this, like nine times out of ten, if I walk into a Japanese restaurant, uh-huh. they throw me an underwear singlet. <laughs> That's funny. And I'm like, I'm not, they start not forming a little sand yeah, pit. I'm they like, walk I'm, in, they, no, I'm actually training today. They put your hair in a ponytail. <laughs> yeah. I just, Man bun. Yeah. And how do you think that makes me feel? Um, yeah, hey, wrestlers eat for free, so. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the Chinese have been very rude to me. Laundromats, they fucking, I had one lady that was up my ass every time i went there just and i snapped on her after like a year of going there finally like every week she started fucking going in on me and i just like dude i, I was like what i was like like she's like screaming at me like no 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 like like literally like in mandarin just fo- so i wouldn't hear but right to my face and i just went look lady i don't know what your life is like <laughs> but you fucking have a terrible energy every time i'm in here i'm like you're just a mean person i like white lady snapped yeah, her yeah. back you know but God, it that, for me to snap on a stranger publicly, you got to fucking really. Yeah, you're push on your. Me. All right, that just fucked my head up. I was right. waiting for like another shitty pun, and it never came. Yeah, yeah. I was oh, he, was, for it. he was being for real. It was just opening up. It was just opening. That's up. like a Louis J. Nah, but you, I t- I talk about this too now, where uh, the rude Chinese, I prefer rude. I prefer my Chinese because yeah, you know where you stand fun. with them. Not even a, rude Chinese equals competent. Chinese to me. That's why they are that way. That's why I've noticed the younger, the younger, more polite generate. That's why they're polite because yeah. they make mistakes. Right, right, right. And right. I, and I, I don't, I, yeah, I don't, I don't associate <laughs> Chinese with mistakes. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like they, 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 they do shit. Pens with no erasers, uh, pencils with no erasers. That was them. Yeah. A little half pencil. <laughs> yeah. They started that shit. They're like we don't need that. Right. Shit. No yeah. mistakes. Yeah. You see how they give you the food? Yeah. Bag stapled shut. We know it's right. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. You make mistake, we erase you, motherfucker. <laughs> right. Why you think the old people always end up out there collecting cans? They yeah. made a mistake. We somehow always <laughs> shit on Chinese people on this show. It just always happens. Well, and- no, he's big up in them. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I get it, but it I just sounds hard. It's to the point. <laughs> yeah. I've had Chinese comics like follow me on Instagram and then unfollow me. Like I, I think after they tune in, they're like. Well, let me ask you a question. So we say the Chinese. If you saying the Chinese is okay, right? Of course. And saying the Jews is okay, right? Yeah. To now, some people. What about the blacks, Dave? I want your opinion on that. Like if you, if I was to they're say, they're all iffy, but like, they're all fine. It depends. The on The blacks what... are okay. I, I ain't got no problem with the blacks. How does how does that sound? Because well, I, yeah, I speak it, like that, right? And you know what it shows. Me, what? it's a guy who's trying. Okay, that's a person who's trying. Like a person, that, yeah, man. The blacks. I'm like, okay, yeah, I know yeah. what his friends would say, and <laughs> he's doing his best. <laughs> that is, you know what I mean? Like when someone says some shit like that, like yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with the blacks. Like <laughs> I know what he means. Yeah, I know yeah. what he means, and he's trying. His, he, this is the most respectful yeah, he, he can he, be yeah, right he's now. Like a, he's like, I like hip hop, right? You know, I like Tupac. I was res- a real dude. I just respect the attempt. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Let me I mean, I guess it could have some bite to it huh <laughs> the black the what, jews what? the jews i feel like has a little bite to it because here's the thing also like we've we've talked about this before like the difference between saying the blacks and the n-word is just like oh the person who's saying the blacks he has something to lose mm-hmm. you know what i mean like the person who's going in oh yeah you don't have nothing you know what i mean so it's like all right well go ahead go ahead that's why i don't even get mad when white people fly off on that i get so, it that's so all the, you got the right? blacks is so some sense of decorum Huh? The black. When you say the blacks, when people say the blacks, there is no decorum, decorum way to reference any community. There is none. Even if, like, in a joke, if I say this black guy, immediately there's a pullback. But that shouldn't the be second, a pullback. Yeah, depending Bring on where in. you are, for sure. And like, the black people is the way you should say it. But if even if you just say, "I saw this black guy," <laughs> crowds pull back. No, no, no. They black race. people is Try. worse than black. Black guy. people sounds weird, but the, look. <laughs> black people sounds weird. Black, yeah. Then the blacks. You think black people? No, is no, 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 the way no, you just no, said it, you where you was like, even if I say black people, like you were like, I'm giving them people. You know what I mean? Like that's what, <laughs> Jewish I will tell people you this. versus the Jews. I'll say this though, Lev. Try black dudes. I, I have and I didn't dudes, like it. Dudes, dudes is like. That's inclusive. That's like, yeah, yeah. man, my, 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 my. Yes, like, dude is probably the winner. Yeah. Right, yeah. This black dude, you know what I mean? Like, no one can get mad at you for saying this black dude. Yeah. Right, right. What if you said this guy with coarse hair? Boom. It sounds like you. <laughs> it sounds like you running, though. You're yeah. scared of it. The oh, blacks. Boy. I like the blacks, though. Yeah, I, I, like, I like the blacks. Yeah. I like the Puerto Ricans. Yeah, I like, like, you know what I mean? It's not, like, it's the not Dominicans. Bad. Huh? It's not bad. Yeah. What's well, not bad? 
the, like, the Puerto Ricans, the blacks. Uh, maybe the blacks, but is worse Puerto than me, Ricans though. is like softer. Like it just that flows off the tongue. Puerto Ricans. You know, All right, what do you think about Puerto Ricans? Yeah. <laughs> now that's different. That's very different. I like it more, but it is more aggressive. That was out there with a Puerto Rican girl. Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans. Have the Puerto Ricans. I feel like if I stop talking that way, though, then we'll lose a piece of history if I just conform. To what? what the fuck are you are every, a piece of history? I know, you're right. You're yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's just how I talk. Well, I mean, definitely, I prefer being that's called like, the blacks versus the African Americans. Yeah. I've never been that. I have no association. African American is like white nerd yeah. who studies black history. It's too long, it's too, too much fat on too it. Too yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And black people, we're, we're lean. We're yeah. a bit more lean than that. <laughs> yeah. And we're usually in shape, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> Which is, uh, uh, that needs to be studied. Why I'm gonna word this shape? carefully because every black dude I know eats McDonald's twice a day. Yeah, and has abs. Yeah, I don't. I like what the fuck. Look at the history. Look at what we've been eating yeah. in this country since we got here, bro. We weren't eating good. Me and like a jacked black dude have the same diet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So and we fuck, look so bro. different. Absolutely, man. I don't get it. I think it's something we still have something in our pancreas that allows us to <laughs> an extra gizzard. You yeah, guys got an extra some, gizzard in there to break it down. Something that allows us to digest the food a bit better. Well, and this says I'm not trying to equate black people with prison, but even in in prison, you can get in good shape with a shitty diet. And they what they say they well, say, you ate nothing but cum, didn't you? <laughs> Jesus 16 grams of protein. It's because you're around a bunch of testosterone all day. That's what I really think. Well, it is. so that's what it is. Yeah. There becomes a uh, like your body has a physiological change because it know it, it knows it needs to all protect right. itself. Yeah. Spell physiological right now. Natalie, pull it up. <laughs> that's Don't show it on Physi- right. P H Y S I Physi O L O G I C A L. Physiological. Close enough. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think Sorry, so. Sorry, say it again. I spelled it wrong. I, I know you in. didn't, though. I know why you didn't, too. Go ahead. Say it again. I'm not doing it. He's like F I Z Z Y. But you said, Fizzy would you say P H? I said P H Y E I C. You put an I after the Y. Y I. Pull it up. Pull it up, Natalie. No, Derek, do it one more time. No, I'm not. I'm not. I refuse. Let him focus. Wait, did they not have books in the jail you were in? I mean, I read a lot. Not ones without like cutouts for knives in the fucking body. Not none that weren't hollow. All right. Physiological. P H Y S. Phys. E I. A L O G I C A L. A. You think there's the an A? A was off, but everything else. Was the A was the A it. was an O. Wait, right? let me try yeah. it. Let I me... spelt it right the first time. You did, I think. Yes, you cocksuckers. Let's uh. pull pull it up. I, I didn't hear it. the Y the first time, but yeah. I, I think you got it. Yeah. yeah. He did because I thought that was wrong and it was correct. So basically, these guys are just getting jacked eating uh, top ramen noodles and like a pack of tuna. Mm-hmm. And like whatever uh, vegetables they and can jack mac. Yeah. yeah, I mean that doesn't sound bad on paper though. That's seems... but they're also working out two and a half hours a day. Yeah, for right? sure. So like, for there, sure. there's a there's a big fucking. Difference I could use between... some prison, dude. <laughs> Honestly, do a boot camp. Yeah, do like a legit I love boot camp. Boots. <laughs> you have this. I fucking there's you the camp for it. Yeah, there, dude. There was this program called Shock where it was six months. It was prison, but it was boot camp for six months upstate, and you'd come out of there fucking shredded. Yeah, yeah. Just I mean, yes. Yeah, six. I have six months of any fucking training. Yeah, I mean, and it, it's tough too. Especially if, it, but I think it's also just like not having access to junk food. You know what I mean? Right. Like, because it's like, all right, it, one, you got to build up your commissary, and then two, you got to be willing to pay the absorbent price. Bro, I'm telling you, if I was in prison, I would find a way to get fucking McDonald's <laughs> through that motherfucker. Of course, oh, you yeah, could. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I would. You can. I if would you sell have... ass to get a Big <laughs> Mac yeah. through yeah. that motherfucker. Yeah, Terry Crews would be right in front of your door. Oof. Here you go, baby. Oh my God! It's for some McDonald's, dude, in the can. <laughs> dude, if you have money, you get anything you want. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah every everybody's for hire. I have a motorcycle in there, <laughs> dude. Have, have you watched? Do you watch these prison videos? These motherfuckers are like, cooking. are those real, dude? Yeah, they're like, yeah, they dude. turn the bunks into a so lock, many, bro. I got a friend who ended up getting his his. He had to do his full sentence. In the feds because of that shit because he kept posting videos from his cell <laughs> yeah. and they let him post and then waited for his fucking review yeah. when he was up for parole and they just wow it's all this they're yeah, like do like, you own the account in yeah, prison yeah bro for- warden's a bitch forty two <laughs> 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 fuck that warden no I just saw the best prison fuck video the parole board with the dude uh, for Black History Month they like swept the whole hallway with a white boy. <laughs> that might have been the most hilarious shit I've ever seen. That is wild. I'm against that. I don't <laughs> that like that one wild. bit. 
<laughs> bro, the internet is such a fucking. What a you wild know what's place interesting? I, I was just about to say the internet is such a dark place because you could find anything that is so fucked on video on the internet. But it's not the internet's fault. It's that's just what happens in the world. And now it can also just be videotaped and put on a dude. You want to see some fucked up shit? Look at what they do in Russian prisons. Like what guards do. Yeah. yeah. When they think like a fucking inmate might need, have, have some info that Putin might need. Mm-hmm. Dude, oh, th- there was this one video I saw. They took like a uh, like a eight inch like coiled fucking dildo that was like this wide and put it on a stick and just butt fucked this guy with it in his cell yeah. just because they were like interrogating him. Like, yeah. they'll do anything to you over there. How long dude. did you get through that video? <laughs> I came, like, about 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, you know what I mean? It's just, like, something like that just pops up on, like, your suggested Reddit. <laughs> yeah. like, that's how yeah. I'm starting. Why You can't not look, and that's how you start your morning is this this darkness in your brain. Yeah, I don't dude. do Reddit. I don't do Reddit. Yeah, I know you see wild either. shit. One of the wildest videos I saw was uh, there was two, two dudes, two Russians in a bunker in the Ukraine. Yeah. And... <laughs> there's like a drone and the one dude's like sucking off the other oh, one yeah. and, and they drop a nade on him yeah then they fucking blow him <laughs> up there hasn't oh, been one so person like... killed in the Ukrainian war that has not been videotaped <laughs> yeah getting <laughs> killed like <laughs> go to Ukraine war footage on Reddit it's just hundreds of hours of just fucking Call of Duty kill streak cams yeah. just single drones just blowing oh, people oh, up. Shit, every man. death has been on camera the um the most one of the most fucked videos I've seen first of all the cartel don't the cartels the cartel wild. videos are so fucking crazy and they're like, can't they're take like it anymore Twitter I used to watch that I kind of shit all the time when I was it. young like all of that live leak shit now yeah I can't the thing it. I end up getting scared because I'm like what if I'm ever on vacation and I like get kidnapped by these motherfuckers what? like I and I just they're they're basic they have no respect for like a life means nothing they yeah. will take a life like that which Dude. is weird to me too because there's a lot of videos of them killing girls right like they'll just drag a girl into a jungle just like this mm. and just machete her up and film it and that's the thing i don't understand what is the point in filming it and putting it up oh just yeah, so to, let to people know spread the word yeah, dude. Don't yeah. Like, like i saw this one they just like uh cartel just fucked a whole village up because yeah. like somebody there was like selling or something and they just one by one they just were like taking limbs off these motherfuckers and i literally watched it i was like i can never watch anything like this again. i'm yeah. just done yeah. it just ruined my fucking week i like, saw one that still fucks with me in the head because the guy was alive when they did it it was just out in a rowboat it just took him out deep into the ocean and he was cuffed and they just threw him overboard they just filmed it drowned and everything just like and oh, geez, he didn't sweet. scream he didn't he cower just he it. just took it and it was God just like damn. Whoo! Dude, I saw this one that was like uh, the the it was these Russian mobsters and one of their uh, so they had these like three guys who like fucked them like I think they like stole product from them or something and um, they said to them like all right either pay us what you owe us on the product like agree that you'll pay us or you all have to one by one fight this guy mm. and they had a guy in their crew who was a pro boxer yeah like I've seen this video yeah he goes one by one. Just beats the living. He knocked out like four dudes, right? Not only knocks them out. Once he knocks them out, he's like stomping oh, their heads yeah. unconscious, uh. while the old man is like, "You want to pay yet, or what?" Yeah, like how to the other ask, guys. How much yeah. are they asking for? Do you know? It must. It was probably it was like, like ten rubles, like 10, yeah. 12, <laughs> no, 10, This is how <laughs> Lev is gonna get out of here with his motorcycle. <laughs> Lev is gonna have to fight Bro, four guys they, to keep his bike. They like, and you're watching. <laughs> they're doing like severe brain damage to these people, and then uh-huh. the last guy dies. They yeah. fucking kill him. Like he it just one on one. Just this guy just murders this dude with his hands. You know what's like, funny? When we were kids, that guy's gonna be champion. I used to feel I was scared <laughs> to death as a kid that I was going to end up in some sort of knockdown drag out fight to the death because yeah. video games and movies that's all what they show you that yes. as a part of life like remember I, you guys might be too young to remember the game like pit fighter oh i remember it, i don't remember that we're the same it, age dude. yeah but it was just like those games were interesting where yeah. it's like this what is, is this Michael thing Vick that game? we walk in <laughs> 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 you know it's crazy too i go to a dominican barber shop and they've a uh, really allowed me in now where like uh cockfighting is is big on yeah. on the live like no. they will watch no. someone else's live in the dr and they're just watching they on chicken. It yeah. oh my they're betting on it, bro right? like haircuts yeah. get stopped yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my not this how one how bad do you get huh? when that happens when the haircut gets stopped for that uh at first at first it, it was just more like shocking and just more like I better go along with it because the thing that was funny to me was like they never even asked me if I was cool with this Yeah, you know what I mean it was like (laughs) the man had his phone like that's a risky move for them they're like he's gonna watch his favorite thing fight (laughs) 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 it's 
might this might really upset this guy. <laughs> But no, dude, they like, they like stopped Just cutting Just ruins me. chicken for David for the rest of his life. He stopped cutting and spun me around so that I could see. You yeah, know what I mean? well, that's kind of nice. <laughs> right. That's kind of nice. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I watch. putting the mirror in front of your face. Yeah, just... bro. I watched three chickens die yeah. on my two haircuts ago. Three. So three you got to get a haircut while you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them barbers. I don't get the cock fight. To me, that's such a, like, Dude, it, like such a boring It's a lot of money about. over there, though. It's a lot of money. It's I'd rather watch business. any animals fight than I'm going to keep it a buck with you when you're there. It's fun. Now, what about a dog? You feel okay <laughs> watching dogs? No, fight? I would hate to watch any animals. Have, like dogs, I would hate to watch dogs have to fight. But like. Chickens, it's like it's like watching lizards fight. It's like who gives yeah, a bro. shit? Yeah, bro. Who gives a it's shit? Not exactly. a fun you don't animal. have that same. You don't have that same. Like, oh, I feel bad. Yeah, I don't know what I, it is. All right, that makes sense. Here's the crazy thing, too. Once, as a kid, I visited Puerto Rico, El San Juan, and there was a place. There was a restaurant that was famous for their chicken. But right next door, they were doing uh, cockfights. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, That's, and they, those ki- those chickens would die, and then they would sell them to the restaurant. Yeah, right yeah, next more door. than likely. Yeah. Yeah. I had a good time. But in Puerto Rico, the service was fucking horrendous, like everywhere. It's just very island lazy, like yeah. anywhere you go. <laughs> That's why you got to go to a resort, yeah, where Americans are like working. Yeah, yeah, like, but, and also the food I thought was fucking trash. But the uh, but the island itself, the beaches are sick. Cool. The, Who are you? Wow. What do you mean the food I went is to trash, San Juan right? and Old San Juan. And uh, it was like you didn't get like rice and beans and shit like yeah, that. He went like the, the hard rock cafe. Or the fuck I think was is trash. <laughs> you don't like Mafungo? I think Mafungo's trash. Did you get it with pork? I went to like Mufungo what they thought they said was like the bananas. best restaurant there, and I thought it was fucking. Dark. I don't like uh, Mafungo either. Uh, uh, Lev, you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is Tiana. I quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Puerto every Puerto Rican, Rican flips shit on me about this, yeah. but I don't. I just don't think the food's good. I mean, that's wild. Wait, Puerto Rican food in general, or you talking about Puerto when you went over Puerto Rican food? And the shit I had there was just not great. Like I think Jamaican food slap. Apps. Jamaican food, like you can't fucking miss. Rice hard, and peas. Yeah, really yeah, like I feel like you got to wait longer for Jamaican food than Puerto Rican food, though. Maybe I haven't been over there. I've only had it. Like in Jamaican <laughs> food, they don't give a fuck, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like I will get it. You almost wonder, so like, are you? It, is this for business or <laughs> like, are you doing me a favor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, Do you have bills to pay? Yeah. <laughs> if Corey Holcomb thinks uh, Donnell's mid, I'd love to see what he says about Puerto Rican food. Yeah. Like, put a plate, of, have him follow a plate of a fungo and see what he no, says. No, I, got, I gotta bring you some Puerto Rican food for real. Bro. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I went to like what they said was like the hot restaurant over there. What is we your all were Puerto like, Rican was, dish, Kevin? Wait, are you so half Puerto Rican, half Dominican? I was raised by Puerto Ricans. Okay. I'm Dominican. I fuck yeah, with Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans are mad cool. I like Puerto Ricans. Why bro. were you raised by Puerto Ricans? I was adopted. Why you think? Oh, you were? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, Dominicans yeah. don't raise their children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, look at look at Gio over there yeah. running around. <laughs> Puerto Ricans are actually a race that have been nothing but nice to me always. Really? Like a, with the exception of like maybe one person. And that's Lewis. Uh, but, <laughs> but that guy's not Puerto Rican. He's not a Puerto Rican. Lewis called me today. He goes, uh, yo, doggy, can you send me a picture of your mom? Yeah, dude, Harrington <laughs> did that to me yesterday. I, I go, go, absolutely not. I go, no. Yeah. He goes, why not? I go, because I know my mom. And this, like, that's not going to end in a fun way. No. Yeah. It's going to end in, like, a situation at yeah. your studio. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, uh, Harrington said the same thing. Like, they're trying to do, like. They're trying yeah, to do a bit about uh, yeah. everybody's mom. Yeah, no way, dude. My mom. My mom. My mom. Oh like yeah, Harrington did. Let these know, fucking man. animals look at a picture my of my mom when she right. was in her twenties. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. But you will, you'll still let me look at it, right? No, <laughs> absolutely no. not. But then how will I milk this snake? You got to send that Venmo, kid. <laughs> um, what time is your show? Whenever this is done, we could do it. Right, I'm in no rush. But right. I know you don't, you don't look well or feel well. No, I gotta go. I gotta go to the cellar. And uh, you got, you got time. I, got, I don't have that much time. I got like an hour, so we should probably start. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do a fucking Derek shitty ass show. Um, so check that out. I'll be on that this coming week or whatever. Make sure you guys watch No Deed for Apologies. I know the Discord is gonna be stoked that you're on this week, Dave. We appreciate you fucking lighting it up. So that Chinese stuff you gotta do on stage. There's some banger lines in there, dude. Yeah, yeah. That we covered today. I don't know, man. They seem like they, they. That's the thing. Chinese people are getting woke now and they're complaining. Yeah. Yeah, See, but those like, aren't the real Chinese. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. there's new ones now. Like I knew the world was coming. These bad. fucking new Chinese, man. Yeah. Like if Jamaicans <laughs> start complaining, it's yeah. Old. Yeah, yeah that's no, we true. can't have that. Right. We can't have as soon that. as we, we see like Africans fucking getting like uh sensitive with it, that's it. Yeah. I don't know I'm Chinese. You know what though? I don't like <laughs> give me a, tu- a tuba. I'll, I'll turn something. it into pork fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you I'm an artist. Oh I'll get you something out of it. <laughs> oh. Well just the departed, but Jack Nicholson's Chinese <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> yeah. 
What a great. Well, I need. I'm due for a departed rewatch. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. We should do one here. The, the people have been clamoring for a Sopranos watch long show. I got to figure something out with that. But we're we're at a fucking we're at an hour twelve. I don't want to keep dragging these guests. But um, we appreciate the fuck of you guys. Um, also, I'm almost at ten thousand on uh, Instagram. So please keep giving throwing the IG follow. New clips coming up right now of stand up. So if you see those, please drop a like, drop a comment, hit the share button, do all that good shit. Help us push out of the algorithm and. Uh, YouTube really fucked us in the last week. The The pod is getting buried in the alga right now. So I'm hoping this week we can come back. Hit the likes. Hit the, the fucking comments. Make sure this, you subscribe and do all that great yeah, stuff. Yeah, Chinese I, people. There's a billion <laughs> of you. What are you doing, huh? I read every <laughs> single comment you guys write on the show. So I, I, uh, you know, I appreciate so many. Some guy tried to come at me on Reddit. For what? Yesterday. Some guy was like, uh, Lev is unlikable or some shit. And then there's about 37 comments, people calling him a fucking scumbag. Yeah. That's right, dude. Yes. Fucking army rose up, baby. Mm. I, was, uh, I, was, I was quite humbled. <laughs> Shout out to the fucking boys. Uh, but we love you guys, man. And I might get a haircut. Bye. Peace. Bye. <clears throat>